Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire. Said to the city, which opened of its own accord, and they went out and passed through the street, and forthwith the angel departed and said, "You can go." Now, my brothers and my sisters, look at this. These are not parables. Can these things happen again? Why are they not happening? If this is true and scripture cannot be broken, that men prayed and physical angels, let me give you, let me give you a story. I like teaching on these kinds of things. Listen, I have many, many stories on this. Let me give you one of my, okay, that would be the second or the third encounters with angels in the body now, not in visions. I was in Abuja um, one year. I can't remember and then i got into a, a bus and i highlighted i was at mararaba you know and my wallet fell and everything fell and the bus had gone i was with one of my friends and you know it was so frustrating for me um i think if i'm not mistaken i hope it will it would be when we we're trying to prepare for one of our crusades or so and then everything had gone and the town it was busy you would not even know which of the buses or who someone would have carried it and i pleaded with my friend i said please you have to just get a bike and then go to maybe where the park is and then they'll begin to check i stood there and i was just praying in the spirit and i remember the scripture that just came he shall put his angels charge over thee and all of that now i tell the truth and i lie not i fear god I was standing there and the next thing a man is limping remember the story a man is limping with my wallet and brings to me and says take and just turns and goes away and I'm standing there and I'm looking at this man what is your name who are you at least let me say thank you and after a while I cannot remember seeing the man again the first time we we're going to hold our crusade in Joss we were there and quite honestly we were confused and we did not know what to do suddenly a stranger walks up to me and says get a bus and get a loud megaphone he said go around the city remember and do publicity i never saw that man again angels are real our carnality has reduced us to a point where we don't even have the eyes and the perception you will be you will be joking to think everyone standing here is a human being do you know I, I tell you the truth and i lie not there are many times i shared it i started sharing it during the early days of koinonia but you notice i stopped i stopped saying it for a reason there are times that i would be ministering like this and suddenly you know many things happen as a man of god when you are ministering you cannot say everything there are times that i'm standing here already and i'm having multiple visionary experiences while i'm ministering is training with time your spirit is you you understand it so you are not distracted and there are many times when god opens my eyes now i see people now not from the body i now see the spirit man of people and suddenly you know in the realm of the spirit you will know that is an angel now because they excel in light and suddenly you will check and you will find out that uh -uh, this person sitting down is not a human being the moment they see me and we make contact they will just stand up gradually and walk out. I've seen this thing many times when Koinonia started. I used to say it, but eventually I kept quiet because I don't want people to build their monuments. You know, people start to make all this uh, idolatry and the rest. So I understand what this scripture is saying. Listen, let me tell you, warfare is real. And it is important to be able to bet victory. James chapter 5 and verse 13. We pray because it is an instrument of warfare what is warfare establishing the will of god in spite of the contentions of darkness that's warfare engaging scripture engaging the mysteries of the kingdom in prayer to establish the will of god 
Satan will never let your destiny go not without a battle. Just because God said all things are yours does not mean all things will come to you. Just because um, God said, oh, you'll be a great man, you'll be, he will attack you, he will attack your children, he will attack everything that can be attacked. I believe in warfare when it is biblically engaged. I believe that any believer who sits down and allows his destiny to move by default is in trouble. He will never win in life. Are we together? Warfare and intercession. What is intercession? Standing in the gap for someone else. Standing in the gap for a territory. Making petitions to heaven on behalf of of an individual on behalf of a territory listen do you know why god allowed for intercession because of this explanation i'm giving because assuming for instance the spirit of death is attempting to take my life this night and i do not have the faculty to discern i can become a victim of it and that means my destiny and all who are connected to me will be in trouble so god see this how it is it's a it's, it's a it's a it's, it's a revelation of god's mercy the mercy of God starts moving around that territory to find who has the discernment and the will to obey God. Do you understand? So it's like a cloud. The Holy Ghost will come upon somebody in his room. He will shake up and say, God forbid, I need to sleep. The Holy Ghost will live quietly, find another house. But somehow he will just come to someone who just gets up and says something is wrong. He now says, pray pray in the spirit and while you are praying he does not know why he's praying and i do not even know him but because he's in the body his prayer life will now save me that's why when we get to heaven many people receive thank you for things they say well what is that he said in 1999 remember one three days fast you did that you don't even know what it was for that fast was what secured the man who would later become the president but you will never know that it was your prayer. If Anna the prophetess did not intercede for Jesus, they would have killed him. Believe me. If Jesus could not die, the angel would not say, run. He was in the flesh. The only thing is that the body will not decay. Are we together? Anna the prophetess was praying imagine this kind of intercessor she sacrificed her life since her husband died see i'm teaching you many things in this series because if anna the prophetess were in our generation and you saw anna the prophetess and saw apostle joshua selman anna the prophetess will bow to me and say you are the great man of god and we are the quiet people whereas you do not know that the way things happen in the realm of the spirit those that may be making the greatest impact may not be the joshua selmans and all of these people as visible as we look there will be one quiet mama somewhere that is the backbone behind our success that we may never know god gives this mama a mandate and say mama you have 30 more years to live and your assignment every day is to pray for someone called Joshua Selman. Where is he in the world? You don't need to know him. I may never know that the health of this ministry, the health of my life, primarily may be founded upon that deep intercessory ministry. If you really find an intercessor somewhere, not just a, 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 a lazy person who just says I'm an intercessor, but a real intercessor, respect them. See, if I bless you, you see me, I prophesy to you. You will package, uh, uh, help those under the anointing. You will package offering and come and give me. Is that true? If I speak over your life, they can carry that message all around the world. People will watch the videos and see me speaking. They will open doors for me. But if I intercede for you, there is no man who will see me to say thank you. These are the people who are greatly prized in the spirit. Some of them are here. They don't even believe that they are in ministry. I just have the grace for intercession. 
Do you know there are times that I'm sleeping and it's as if they are soaking me inside hot water. I know somebody somewhere is shouting on heaven on me. I can go say, allow me to sleep small now. There are times I know it's prayer band. That fire is coming from prayer band Tuesday. <laughs> there are times I know that individuals are just praying. They prayed for Jesus. The Bible never said Anna the prophetess stopped praying after the dedication. She just said, my eyes have seen the consolation of Israel. Intercession is powerful. Listen to me. Don't sit back and allow the devil destroy your loved ones. I shared with you the story about my mom. One time that I saw what I saw. You must learn to pray. Some of you are not only lazy spiritually. You are responsible for the pain of many people. This is why sometimes when God is quarreling people, you think you are innocent. He will come and say, you are part of the reasons why these people are not doing well. Oh God, why? I put a burden on you to pray one time and you just carelessly said, it's not my business. There are selfish believers until God. That's why God will use the face of someone you love. It's not that something is wrong with that person. That's the only way. It's not always demons. It is the only way to wake you up to pray. Because if you saw another person, your selfishness will not allow you to stand up. So you see the face of the person who promised to marry you. And say, no, God, this cannot happen. I've waited long. And God said, that's it. You will be rewarded for praying. But that was the only skill to be able to lift you. Hallelujah. Warfare and intercession. James 5.13 Is any man afflicted? He says, let him do what? Is any man afflicted? The biblical approach to affliction is any man challenged by a situation you cannot understand before you sit down and start using your brain because you see in the flesh you will calculate wrongly what is going on my children suddenly are falling sick in a way that i cannot explain suddenly money is disappearing in this family suddenly my wife my husband my children is like there is no peace suddenly my grandmother is hating me i came out in the morning three accidents before returning back home already if you are sensitive that is affliction the bible says don't sit down and start discussing scientifically it says start praying because when you pray among the many things that happen is that you begin to perceive you are allowing your spirit man in partnership with the holy spirit to draw forth what the real issue is and communicate to you hallelujah how many of you have ever been confident about a decision you were so bold until you prayed somewhere in that prayer you stood and said god thank you oh, this i would have died you felt like ghana is the place god is sending you in fact everything in you was just spelling ghana until you went to pray when that prayer was done you were embarrassed you just stood there and said so this i would have been on my way are we together you know powerful believers by this one thing they will tell you kai i want to do this this and that and then two weeks later they just keep quiet you say you won't do it again i know what has happened to them they have they have gone to fine tune that thing a brother just looks at a sister and can almost be confident i say no Abba, i know based on what i'm feeling this is my wife until you go to pray while you are praying the flesh and the feelings are giving way to destiny and when you rise up then you will know that you would have made nonsense of your life you now come back and say thank you jesus are we together someone can come to you and say i'm a forget about acquisition Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be concentrated. Let your mind be. Holy God's fire!